Let's pick up where we left off in the previous video where we had performed some sculpting edits to the sculpt object after utilizing the normal map to mesh feature in 3D Coat. What I have here is the high poly sculpt object and I'll turn wireframe on so we can see the mesh. And I will step into the paint workspace so that we can see our paint object. I currently have show displace mesh turned on. I'll turn that off for the moment. We can see the original mesh that we want to bake those sculpting edits onto. Okay. So when I'm done with my sculpting modifications, I can go to the Retopo workspace and go to the Bake menu and choose Rebake Sculpt Mesh Changes onto Paint Mesh. I'll get a prompt indicating that it's going to take any texture changes in the sculpt workspace and bake them onto new layers, preserving the previously painted layers on the original low polygon UV mapped paint object. All right. Then we'll get a baking menu here where we can adjust the inner and outer shell. So we are seeing a preview for the outer shell currently. I can come up to the top of the panel and scrub the values for the outer shell globally like this, or I could make some localized adjustments with the brush. This one is chosen by default and it essentially pulls along the normal. So if we're working on the outer shell, then it's going to pull outwardly. If we are working on the inner shell, it's going to pull inwardly. If you need to make an adjustment on the fly to where you're doing just the opposite, and sometimes you will, you can hold down the control key and that will allow you to temporarily make the adjustment. So let me demonstrate that quickly. So I will brush here and you can see I can make a local edit. But let's say I go a little bit too far. I can hold down the control key and push that back if I need. Okay. And of course you can make adjustments to the strength and whatnot here. All right, so I think I'll make a global adjustment. Okay, and I'll click on the inner shell. I'll scroll the slider. So what I'm seeing here is the inner shell is protruding outside the sculpt object and I don't want that. So I need to scrub it until I see that no longer. Okay, I'll click the OK button and I'll pause while it calculates. Okay, after it has finished baking, 3D Coat will place me in the paint workspace so I can see the result and I immediately get another prompt indicating that it's essentially completed the baking process, but I may see the voxel or sculpt object in the same viewport with the paint object and it recommends to hide the sculpt object if that is the case. But I had previously disabled that or unchecked that here, okay? But now I want to show the displacement and we can adjust the subdivision here if we need per UV map. And I will step into the render workspace. I have real-time rendering enabled and it's using HDRI lighting. So it should give me a decent idea of what it would look like in a game engine or in a external render engine. And that's going to conclude this series on the normal map to mesh feature in 3D Coats. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.